Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a Disney subscription unboxing for you today. A few days ago in the mail I received this. This is my April Mickey's Mystery Box. It seems like all of my Disney subscriptions tend to arrive during the same week every month, so they kind of pile up and I have to do them in some sort of random order. But this is the box of the day. It's my Fantasmic sized Mickey's Mystery Box. I've been subscribed to Mickey's Mystery Box for I think over a year now. They do items directly from the Walt Disney World World parks, so everything that's in this box is a Disney Parks item. Mickey's Mystery Box is a customizable subscription box service, meaning they will tailor the items in your box to your Disney preferences, and they also usually provide a really good value, so I'm really excited to dig into this for you. Before I dive in, I do want to let you know that I have something that I really need to say. Like, I really need to get this off my chest about Disney subscription boxes. It's slightly ranty, so I'm going to save it for the end of the video, but I have something that I just, I've been thinking about it for a while, and I need to say it out loud in public, or at least on YouTube, so if you want to hear me get a little bit ranty, please wait all the way to the end of this unboxing, and then I will, I will say my piece. I've got something I want to say. But for now, let's have a good time opening this box, shall we? All right, so I have opened this up and here is my first look. So I see some packing confetti, of course. I see something fragile. There's a little Mickey sticker on the top and I see something that says Pandora, World of Avatar. So I'm already feeling pretty darn excited. I'm going to start by pulling this out first because I recognize this as a Magic Band box. These are the size and style of boxes that Walt Disney World Magic Bands come in. If you're not familiar with Magic Bands, they're these cool little wristbands that you can wear around the park and they keep your Fast Pass and your ticket and you can put your credit card on there and you kind of got all your info on a cool little on a cool little band The only thing that would make them better is if they counted your steps like a Fitbit But maybe we'll get that at some point Anyway, this is a Pandora World of Avatar magic band unless I'm totally crazy I, I haven't opened it yet and the design on this box is really cool It features the floating mountains of Pandora and some banshees and some images of what Pandora looks like at night when it's all lit up with a bioluminescent effect so I do believe this is a magic band. I already do have a Pandora magic band, but not this one. So it is a blue magic band, and it's my favorite color. And I'm seeing right here at the bottom, it says limited edition of 5,000. So it's an LE 5000 magic band. A lot of people seem to be into collecting magic bands. I have a handful. I mean, I don't collect magic bands like I collect pins, but I do like to keep a few of my like favorite attractions and favorite parks and stuff. And since Pandora is one of my favorite parts of Disney World and Animal Kingdom is my favorite park, I'm pretty stoked to have this. Okay, so I've opened up my magic band and the design and the image that is featured actually looks like it's from the Navi River Journey attraction. Let me give you a close up. So here is one side of the band and here is the other side. This is really pretty. I'm totally going to take this to the park on my upcoming trip and I wonder if this is one of the ones where when you scan it on the tap style if it does like a little song or a, a little light up thing. So I, I guess I'll have to wait and see or I'll, I'll Google it or something but I think this is a great start to my box. I love Pandora. I like magic bands. I go to Disney a lot so awesome. And just FYI the retail price of this is $32.99. And now it's time for some strategic confetti removal. The next item I see is this cool wrapped thing meaning it's fragile and it's most likely a mug but since I love mugs and I love fragile things, I'm going to save this to open last because in my mind I'm kind of saving the best thing for last. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this in a second and see what else is, is down in here. Okay, next thing I'm pulling out is a pair of novelty socks and they are clearly Minnie Mouse socks. I do have a small but ever-growing collection of Disney novelty socks. I think I talked about it in my last video even. I got another pair of socks in, in that unboxing. But these are super cute. There's a little Minnie Mouse signature at the bottom. She's got her big eyelashes. I honestly don't wear big long socks like this out of the house that often, but I do wear them inside the house all the time. I put a little lotion on my feet and then put nice big socks on so I feel cozy and I can moisturize my feet. That's probably too much information, especially if you're not into feet, but um, that's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> the retail price of these socks is $13.99. Okay, next thing I'm pulling out is this cute little guy. This is obviously Chip, and I recognize this right away as being from the Shanghai Disney Parks. A lot of the Shanghai Disney merchandise made its way over to the American Disney outlets. So I've been seeing these little guys floating around. This is actually tiny and adorable. I do love Chip and Dale and I especially love Chip because his nose is like a chocolate chip and like who doesn't love chocolate chips? Um, but this is a really cute little guy. I don't know if I'll keep it or gift it away or like, I don't know, I might like tack him to a bag or turn him into a keychain or something, but he's super cute. Because this came from China, I really have no idea what the retail price would be in American dollars, but I'm just gonna say like $5 for this little guy. He's really super cute. 
Okay, next thing I'm seeing is something that I love to have a lot of, and that is a pair of ears. And they are actually very clearly Animal Kingdom inspired ears, which is my favorite part, which I say like every time I do a video. I love Animal Kingdom, and I love ears. And these have kind of like a pink cheetah print, so they're kind of spicy and, and fun and, I don't know, summery. I might take these with me on my upcoming trip. Huh, and actually they kind of look good with what I'm wearing today, so yeah, I'm totally keeping these add them to my ginormous ear collection. This pair of ears has a price tag that is color coded. So this is the amethyst price level, which I can't quite think of what that is. So let me check my chart real quick. According to my little Disney pricing chart, these are $19.99. So that's what amethyst means. Okay, wow, there's quite a few more things down here in this box. I'm gonna go for this. This looks fun. It looks like a journal and I love journals and notebooks and stationery and everything that you can write on. I don't know if you can see it when I'm just holding it up like this, but it is actually a figment themed journal. Journal. It's a bound journal. It's got kind of a leathery feeling cover and it's got all these figment images on the front. Let me give you a close up. Okay, so here is a close up of the journal design and it looks like it's figment and it's kind of figment looking from like maybe an animator's perspective on him. So I'm not totally sure what the thinking is behind this. Like maybe it's how to draw figment and his proportions, but it is cool. I do love Journey into Imagination and I'm a big fan of figment. On the back, there are different images of his head and his face and his different facial expressions, so that's really cool. And inside, there are a whole bunch of lined pages, and it has this little journey into imagination symbol at the top. I think this is really cool. I'm always looking for notebooks and journals. I take tons of notes. I'm a huge list maker, so this will definitely come in handy. There is a price tag on the back, and the retail price for this item was $17.99. Okay, a few more little goodies before I get to the cool wrapped item. Since I was literally just talking about stationery, I will show you this next. This is actually a pen set, and it looks to be a Dumbo-themed pen set. I recognize this from the Shanghai Disney Resort, so like I said, this merchandise has made its way into the outlets, which I'm going to talk about in a second, by the way. Um, so yeah, I really love pens. I love writing. I love Dumbo. I am not disappointed in this item at all. Like I said, I have no idea what was the retail price. I'm going to say maybe like eight dollars for something like this but yeah i'm i'm super into it here's a slightly closer look at the pens i like seeing timothy mouse down here that makes me happy i guess the real test on these pens is going to be whether or not they write well but i'll have to try that off camera and maybe report back in the comments down below and also in the realm of stationery i have a pack of four dumbo themed sticky notes i love sticky notes i went on a whole rave about sticky notes on my last video because i truly do love them i make lists and stick things all over the place and my calendars and on my desk and stuff behind me so never can have enough disney themed sticky notes and here's a close-up of the dumbo themed sticky notes love it and here's the last of the small little items. This is actually a Mickey Mouse um, like toast press. Like you press this into your bread when you put it in the toaster to give your toast like a Mickey Mouse image, which is cute. It says it's retail uh, $4.95, like a little trinket for your kitchen. I'm gonna be really honest and say, I don't really eat bread. It's not like I never eat bread ever in life, but I don't make toast and I don't really gravitate toward grains. So I will probably be gifting this to someone or adding it in a future giveaway. Not that it's not cute, but I know that since Aaron and I aren't big bread eaters and aren't big toast makers, um, we probably won't be using this ourselves. So cute item, but not for me. Okay, and here is the last thing. I always get really excited when I see cool, wrapped up, fragile things. I'm always hopeful that it's a mug because I have a large collection of Disney mugs and I'm not gonna stop that business anytime soon. So I'm hoping for a Disney mug and hopefully one that I don't already have. Let's see what we got here. They wrap it so well. Okay. Oh my gosh, yes, this is a mug that I was hoping that they would send me because I think I've seen a couple other people get this in their Mickey's Mystery Box. And it's actually um, a Winnie the Pooh and Friends themed mug. And it features Winnie the Pooh and Friends for all four seasons. Um, so let me show you a close up of this because I've had my eye on this. I've seen it in the parks. I've seen people unbox it. And I am really happy that it is now going to be downstairs with all of my other Disney mugs driving my husband insane. So first we have Tigger and Rue, and they are the winter scene. Then we have Rabbit for spring, of course. Winnie the Pooh with the honeybees for summer. And Eeyore and Piglet for fall. It's such a pretty mug. It's a really nice size, too. And also I love little touches like this. There's a little honeybee right inside the lip of the mug, so that makes it extra cute in my book. 
I am very happy with this, although I'm looking at the price tag and this actually came from the Shanghai Disney Resort, so am I hallucinating? Was this not available in the American parks? Was this only in Shanghai? Did I imagine that? I don't know, maybe I'm just crazy. Anyway, I don't know how much it costs in China. I do think it's adorable. I'm very happy to have it in my collection. This is not going anywhere anytime soon except for like to my lips with a lot of coffee because the coffee goes in so the love can come out. Let me quickly do a little bit of math and get an approximate retail price for the value of that box. I think I pay something in the $95 range for that box every month. That includes shipping, so I know that's expensive, but shipping a box like that is also expensive. But since I have many items that came from the China parks, I can't really do a super accurate math on how much it really costs, so I'm just going to kind of approximate things and give you guys an idea of the value. Okay, I finished my little math drill. I came up with about $110 retail value for this box, which is definitely over what I paid for it. So I do feel like it's a good deal. I really like everything in it, especially that mug and the magic band and the figment journal. Um, so I'm really happy, as I always am, with my Mickey's Mystery Box for this month. However, there is kind of an elephant in the room that I'd like to address before I wrap up this video. Last time I posted a Mickey's Mystery Box unboxing, down in the comment section, I received many comments from well-meaning people informing me that all of the items that Mickey's Mystery Box sends comes from Disney outlet stores. And people were very concerned that I was being ripped off by this company and did you know that they only paid $2 for this item and they're making it seem like it's worth so much more, etc, etc, etc. And honestly, to that I kind of say, like, yes. Of course I know that these companies who do these services are not paying full retail price for the items in these boxes. If they were, how could they possibly have a business model that would be sustainable and work for them? I just want to go on record and say every single subscription box out there that turns a profit does not pay full retail for the items that you are receiving. If you are getting a box that has a higher retail value than the price you paid for it, you better believe that those curators and that box company is purchasing those items probably in bulk at a deeply discounted price. Duh! Like, of course they are. I mean this in the most loving way possible, but I'm not naive. I realize that Disney needs to move items that weren't moving in the parks, and the outlets are a way that they do that. And these people go out, and they pick out really nice items, they cater them to your taste, and they send them to you. And I, for one, really appreciate it, because heaven knows, I do not live near a Disney outlet. I do not have access to these items at deeply discounted prices. And all of the items in this box were at one point sold for full retail price in the park. So I don't really see subscription box companies like this one as any kind of ripoff. I see it as thoughtful people who are going out, picking out items specifically for you, that takes time, packaging that up, that takes time and money, and sending them to you and hopefully making some money so they can feed their Disney loving families. I honestly think it's a win-win for everyone involved. Now of course if I lived down in Orlando or I lived near a Disney outlet, it would not make sense for me to subscribe to this box because I would just go and pick out what I wanted myself or I would go to the outlets myself but since I can't do that I actually really love getting this fun surprise box full of items that I know came from the parks every single month in my mailbox so I just wanted to throw that out there I want you to know that I am not naive I know where these items come from and I actually think this company does an amazing job of picking out high quality items and I am so glad that they've had success in their company so I just want to say that and PS I'm not sponsored I paid for this box myself. I paid for every single one of my boxes myself. So I am being super real with you guys right now. If you are able to go to the Disney outlets and purchase these items, like more power to you, but I can't and I'm really happy that subscription services like this exist. Okay, rant over. I hope that didn't offend anyone or push anyone's buttons too much, but I just wanted to be really honest with where I stand on this and let you know that I am informed. Appreciate your concern. Trust me, I've gone into my channel and what I'm filming and what I'm presenting with eyes wide open. I only show subscription services on this channel that I pay for with my own money and there's no way I would put this box on this channel if I didn't think it was actually a pretty good value. So having said all of that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are interested in learning more about Mickey's Mystery Box, I will leave a link down in the description box below so you can find out about their various subscriptions. They've got a lot of different options at a lot of different price points. 
I would also love to know from you guys what was your favorite item in this month's box. For me, it was hands down this Winnie the Pooh Four Seasons mug. I think this is adorable. I cannot wait to put some coffee in it. I might go do that right now, in fact. Um, but leave a comment down below. Let me know what you liked. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more Disney-related videos very soon. I hope you're having a magical day, and I'll see you real soon. Bye, guys.